Hello. So this is the painting that I just finished on uh, the 30th of uh, October 2017. It's, uh, the title is The Holy Trinity because he, be he is based, is inspired on the famous Holy Trinity that uh, the famous painter Andrei Rublyov painted uh, about uh, 900 years ago. Russian painter. We can see the, the original ear, the original painter ear. Um, there are missing some uh, details that I have added. And you can see the details. Uh, you can see the details here, here, and here that I added, which are the symbols, the symbolism of this, uh, of this painting that that I, I decided to add in order to, uh, to make sure that everyone understand who, which one is which. So which one is the Father, the Son, and which one is the Holy Spirit. We can understand this tree from the symbolism. So on the angel on the left, uh, you can see that he's a, he has a eye on his top which obviously represents uh, God the Father, because uh, usually uh, God uh, is represented with an eye, because he uh, is the best way, the eye is the best way that, um, that represents uh, awareness. Awareness, that's, that's why God may, made us like him, because we are aware uh, of what's going on around us. And uh, the eye represents this awareness. So the angel of the left is God the Father. The angel in the middle represents the sun. And you can see he has, uh, he has a red and blue dress uh, matching the colors worn by Christ, the incarnate world. He was truly God and truly man. And he has yellow gold strip on his shoulder, as you can see on his shoulder, which represents his authority to speak for the Father. So, the Father is gold, also yeah, even though it looks like orange, but it's a dark gold, and uh, he represents, he can speak, uh, he has authority to speak for the Father. So purple is the blood, so truly human and truly God, because blue is represents, the color blue represents the divinity. So all of the three have blue in common, the blue color is in common, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, because they are divine, three persons, divine, three, one, one in three. On the top of uh, of uh, of uh, uh, the sun jesus christ we see the best symbol that represents him and his sacrifice which is the cross and the cross as he explained in uh, in john uh, uh, the gospel of john chapter 15 verse verse 1 he says that i'm the true wine the true vine and my father is the gardener so he himself says that he's, I'm the true wine and you are the branches. So you can see uh, the vine, the vine himself, and we are the branches. And we're supposed to bear fruits, fruits that lasts. So here we, we, you see the, the grapes, which is the fruit that, uh, that we should produce uh, following his commandments, if we follow his commandments. The angel of the right is the Holy Spirit. And you can see from the, first from the top, from the top, that is, uh, as we know, the Holy Spirit is usually represented by a dove, a flying dove, that, uh, yeah, because uh, St. John, uh, John the Baptist said that uh, he saw a dove when he was baptizing Christ. And this dove represented the Holy Spirit. So use, usually represents, the dove represents the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, why is green? Um, is green because 
is 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 the giver of life is the giver of life remember that uh, the the tree and uh, the, the the earth usually is green it represents, it represents life especially the the life on earth so that's why it's green here yeah. i also uh, call the the the, the, the wings of the tree angel in 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 brown, because also uh, they uh, they represent the the wood and the tree and the tree of life. So you see. Now on the altar there is a chalice, but we see the original chalice. Uh, it is not very detailed that you blow off, uh, painted maybe because with the time it got it got ruined so we cannot see really what's inside from the original painting but we know that it's supposed to be the lamb of god is the lamb of god that's why i wanted to depict, depict clear that in the inside the chalice is the lamb which is the the sacrifice which is the holy sacrifice of the mass so the christ with his fingers almost looks like he's pushing the chalice towards us meaning that his blessing comes through his self-sacrifice from his self-sacrifice and you see them uh, all of the three they have uh, a smiley face even though yeah, it doesn't really show here, but uh, you can see it's uh, it's not uh, a sad face, but it's a happy face because even though the they are talking about the sacrifice and the the, the sacrifice that the son has to go through, uh, for them is not a bad news but a good news because through the sacrifice we are redeemed. So they look to the they already have in mind the, um, the end of the sacrifice, which is our redemption from the sea. And, there, and therefore, good news, the good news of the gospel. Remember, the gospel is all about good news. Now, um, on the front of the altar, so you can see here, on the front of the altar, there is um, a small cavity where traditionally the relics of the saints are kept and even now in the catholic church every altar uh, if you look underneath you should have a cavity with some uh, holy relics from from some holy saints so this tradition is being kept uh, for uh, for uh, almost a thousand years yeah maybe more than a thousand years and all of the three as you can see all of the three figures they have a staff symbolizing the equal divinity. Therefore, the blue color and the staff, even though someone is more blue than the others, but the staff should be the same length, even though it's not short here, but should have the same length, which means E equal divinity they're all equal N there's no someone that is more divine than the others but they have all of three they have equal divinity so i used uh, uh, acrylic mostly for this painting uh, with some watercolor watercolor especially uh, especially for the red the blue yeah and and the ear and yeah, this watercolor but you can see acrylic here shining and um, and furnished and uh, furnish it with uh, a shining uh, furnishing I signed this with my name Vito Petrus Saracino 2017 and this painting is not for sale because it represents my uh, the foundation of my vocation so only, av only available for exposition but not for sale so thank you for watching and god bless you all bye